My name is Seth Noel, this is Berkeley Hyundai, and this is the all new 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz. We've been waiting for this moment since the concept came out in 2015, and everybody's so excited that it's finally here. Looking at the front of the Santa Cruz, it continues the parametric grille design of the Hyundai Tucson that's also new for 2022. This beautiful modern design really captures the aggressive look that this pickup truck has. The Santa Cruz is based on the Tucson, however, has a lot of key differences, including a 5,000 pound towing capacity, of course, the pickup truck bed, and a few different power plant options, whereas the Tucson has just one. Like the Tucson, the Santa Cruz takes safety very seriously with available forward collision avoidance with pedestrian detection, lane keeping and following assist, smart cruise control, and blind spot collision avoidance with an optional blind view monitor. The Santa Cruz has four different trim levels. We have the SE and the SEL, which are available with both front and all wheel drive and have a two and a half liter four cylinder. And then we have the SEL Premium and the Limited, which have a 290 horsepower, two and a half liter turbo four cylinder and are all wheel drive only. This SEL Premium here is equipped with remote start and a sensor key. So with this sensor key, also known as a smart key, you can have it in your pocket and lock and unlock the door handles and just stick your hand inside the door handle to open it up. Here we have the Santa Cruz's simple yet elegant interior. It has a fantastic standard audio system with an available Bose premium audio system in the limited trim level. The seat features our rugged fabric design available in all models up to the limited. This SEL premium has heated seats. The limited adds leather seats as well as ventilated seats and a heated steering wheel. Taking a look at the dashboard, there are plenty of technology features that I will be explaining in depth later. However, for a first glimpse, you see the infotainment screen and the driver information screen right in front of the steering wheel. In the limited trim level, we also have a Santa Cruz exclusive black leather with orange piping, if you really wanna spice up the interior. Taking a look at the back seat, we have cup holders in the doors, and we have the jack hidden below the seats, as well as more storage underneath the seat over to the other side. Available in the SEL Premium and above, we also have a sunroof. Taking a look at the rear of the Santa Cruz, we have a manual cab window, we have a standard backup camera and available parking sensors in the limited trim level, and when equipped with the towing package, the SEL Premium and Limited trim levels can tow up to 5,000 pounds. You'll also notice that we have our step side rear bumper where you can also step in the center um, and it is designed to be stepped on. We have our power bed gate from the remote. I can just press and hold the button and it drops the gate down. We have our hard bed cover with a strap to make it easy to pull it closed. And it retracts very easily. On the left and the right side of the bed, you'll see some storage lockers with the right side having a power inverter. On either side, you can see that there is a rail system and tie downs in the bed. And you can also see our under bed storage that can also be used as a cooler because there is a drain plug right here. On either side, you can also see we have LED bed lights and an additional one near the center high mounted stoplight. There are a number of different wheel options on the Santa Cruz. This one right here on the SEL Premium is an 18 inch. You also have a 19 inch available on the limited trim level. Taking a look at the driver's side mirror, we have our blind spot collision avoidance system that has a triangle with an exclamation point that will light up yellow whenever someone's in your blind spot and red if you have your turn signal on and there's someone in your blind spot. Taking a look at the driver's seat of the Santa Cruz, we have a power driver's seat 
that is fabric in all trim levels but the limited. We have our lumbar adjustment there as well. For those of you that have seen the 2022 Tucson, I can say that this is just as comfortable of an interior. We have our button in the center that turns on the bed light as well as our traction control off button. As a reminder, this SEL Premium is just one trim of many, so we can configure the perfect Santa Cruz for you. Taking a look at the roof console, we have our sunroof controls, we have our Blue Link customer service button, we have our SOS emergency services button, our auto dimming rear view mirror with home link buttons that can program to your garage door, our infotainment system in all trim levels but the fully loaded limited have look just like this and have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. You also have Sirius XM, HD radio, FM, AM, you name it. If you want to listen to it, we have it. Apart from a CD player, you won't see those anymore. The climate control is dual zone in this SEL Premium. There's manual climate control available as well. Looking down below, we have two USB plugins for charging and to connect to the infotainment system, a 12 volt cigarette style um, outlet, and a wireless charger down below. You'll notice uh, where it says Qi, the little horizontal line will turn orange when it's charging. We have a automatic transmission, our shifters right here, and you can slap it over to the left if you want to shift your own gears. We also have paddle shifters attached to the steering wheel that you can shift your own gears there as well. We have multiple drive modes that I'll go over later. We have our hill descent control, our center differential lock to lock it in four wheel drive. We have our auto hold feature, which is where you pull up to a stoplight or a stop sign using the brakes and it will hold, the car will hold the brakes for you until you tap the gas. We also have our electronic emergency brake and our heated seat buttons on top of the center armrest. On the right side of the steering wheel, we have our cruise control buttons, menu button to control the driver information display, and we have our lane follow button, which centers the Santa Cruz between the lane lines rather than ping-ponging you off of the lane lines like the lane keeping assist may do. On the left side of the steering wheel, we have our mode button to cycle through your audio choices. We have your voice control button. We have our radio controls, including volume control and mute. We have our phone call pickup and hang up button. And then the star button is a programmable button where you can make it have the exact function of your choosing. Going more in depth to our menus, I will show off our drive modes that can change how your gauges look. Right now we're in normal mode. Switching to sport mode gives you a carbon fiber sporty look. We have smart and we have snow. This screen is the driver assistance screen where you will see ghosts of other traffic around the Santa Cruz if detected by all of the radar sensors. You'll see them on the sides and in front of the Santa Cruz. Additionally, we have our trip odometer and driver information screen with our digital speedometer. We have all of our different settings available here. And you can watch your all wheel drive system work in real time as well as view your tire pressures. If you're thinking of checking out a Ford Ranger, a Chevy Colorado, or a Honda Ridgeline, but you may not need all that space, you need to come check out a Hyundai Santa Cruz here at Berkeley Hyundai. Once again, my name is Seth Noel, and I hope you'll check us out on berkeleyhyundai.com as well.